Oh, hello there, folks. Good afternoon, good morning or good evening, depending on whereabouts you are. It's lovely to see you again as usual and I hope that I find you very well. And would you look at this thing? It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to highly, highly recommend you give this one a go because I know I say it every time and it's delicious and it's easy, but this is absolutely fantastic and so easy to make. It's so crumbly and jammy and cakey and just wonderful. Wonderful. This is everything that I used here, but as usual, all the ingredients will be in the show more box underneath the video. So I've got some unsalted butter, I've got some vanilla, some plain flour, some raspberry jam, caster sugar, but use any sugar that you've got. Optional almonds, you don't need to use those. Some baking powder, some vegetable oil or some sunflower oil and a couple of eggs, you know, and that is it. So the first thing we're going to do is cream together the butter and the sugar but make sure your butter is room temperature you know and nice and soft because it's going to make this really easy pop in your sugar and you want to cream these together it'll take you a few minutes and it'll go a lovely pale color you know it'll turn from this rich buttery sort of golden color to like this nice and pale and it's going to make it nice and light and fluffy and just wonderful to this pop in a couple of eggs and then your oil, like I said, vegetable oil or sunflower oil, it doesn't really matter. And then a couple of teaspoons of vanilla extract, whatever you have, doesn't need to be the fancy stuff, doesn't really make much difference. And again, give it a good whisk together and you're going to think, you know, it's curdled or it looks a bit curdled. Don't worry about that because when you put the flour in, you know, it's going to bring everything back together again anyway. So just gradually add your flour, you, know, you don't have to dump it all in at the one time. I like to put half of mine in along with the baking powder and just give it a gentle fold in together using the edge of your spatula. Just sort of cut your flour through your butter and then I will pop the other half of my flour in as well until you've got a nice cohesive dough like this. And it won't be, you know, it won't be sticking to your hands. It won't be sticky, but it's lovely and soft. I just love the feeling of this. It's a bit like wet sand. It's just wonderful. So that is your dough ready. So grab your tin. You want to make sure it's lined with non-stick paper because it's going to make it really easy to get out at the end because we're going to be putting quite a lot of jam in this. So you do not want it sticking to your tin because that would be a complete disaster. So do make sure it's well lined. And all you're going to have to do now is grab a few handfuls of your dough. Just throw it into your tin and pat it down with your hand. So you want to use about three quarters of your mixture for the base. Keep about a quarter back. We're going to use that for the crumble top in like I said just press it down with your fingers this is so easy but just get it nice and even all the way around so that when you cut your squares or your fingers you know it is nice and even and then with the tines of your fork just go all over and prick the surface because we are going to bake this for about 15 minutes just until it's starting to go golden on the top because if you just put your jam on and the crumble on and put it in the oven the top will burn and the underside won't be cooked so I like to bake that first and just set the rest of your dough to the side for the time being. I'm going to be using raspberry jam. You know, use any jam you like. I just think raspberry jam or even strawberry jam goes really well with any sort of short cake or shortbread, you know. But use black currant or whatever you like. Get your shortcake out of the oven. You want to let this cool down a good bit. You know, it doesn't have to be cold, but just uh, make sure it is cooled down a good bit. And it will shrink down a wee bit, as you can see, as it cools as well just like that and all we're going to have to do now is pop the jam on the top now don't be shy with the jam because this is going back into the oven and it will cook so you you, you want a good layer of jam on there so that you cut your squares you know you do have a nice thick layer of jam just push it all the way to the edge because we do have the paper there so it's not going to all fall down the sides or anything and once you're happy you can grab your bowl with the remainder of your dough and all we're going to do is turn this into a crumble so with about another 150 grams of your plain flour, just keep adding and adding until you have a nice dry crumbly mixture and it's not all sticking to your hands the way it is mine there. And again, it'll only take you a few minutes. So just keep going until you're happy and it's lovely and crumbly and all separated and sort of running through your fingers just like this. Like I said, it'll only take you a couple of minutes. So just keep adding your flour until you feel as though you've got the right consistency. 
and I was happy with this one. Just like that. And all you have to do now is pop that on the top. I mean, you can put on as much or as little as you like. I still like a wee bit of jam poking through. So I didn't use all of my crumble, but I did end up making two batches of this. So it didn't go to waste. And I'm also going to pop on some flaked almonds. This is completely optional, obviously. But whatever you end up using, do give it a wee push down with the flats of your hands just to make sure, you know, when you do cut up your squares or your fingers that the crumble doesn't all fall off. You will get a wee bit of crumbliness falling off, but you don't want it all falling off. So back into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, same temperature as before, and you will be left with something like this. Just get it out, you know, when it's starting to go golden on the top. And you'll want to let this cool again just before you get it out the tin because like I say, you don't want it all falling apart. And it's really easy to get out and then you can get it out of your paper. And I just pop mine onto a cutting board and then that's, that paper just slides out really easy from underneath. As long as you're using a non-stick paper, you will not be fighting with your paper. And all you have to do is grab yourself a sharp knife and cut it into whatever size squares or, or even fingers. I was trying to decide here how big I wanted them. But my squares, it doesn't matter what I'm making. My squares usually end up the same size. And you'll get, you know, if you're making squares this size, nine good portions. But you could, of course, do fingers if you prefer. And the, the base of this thing was absolutely delicious. It was somewhere between a shortbread, a shortcake and a scone. It was just lovely. And then that nice thick layer of jam and that crumbly goodness on the top. This is perfect with a cup of tea or even a coffee. Or if it's a wee bit colder, you know, we would have this kind of thing with some nice warm vanilla custard. In fact, I think in the States you guys call it vanilla pudding or sort of runny custard. But whatever you use, you know, is going to be fantastic. And this stores really well as well. I would just chop this into squares and pop it into an airtight container. But honestly, this does not hang around long. It is absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much for watching. If you're leaving, you know, hopefully I will see you back soon. And to you all for supporting the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. Thank you all so very much. And as I said, thank you for watching as well. And I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or shopping and bagging or even back on Sunday for meals of the week. And we are going away for a few days, but I will show you what we're having on next week's meals of the week. So whenever you choose to join me again, have a wonderful rest of your day or evening, you know, depending on whereabouts you are. Lots of love. Take care and bye for now. Bye now.